Hello there, my beautiful darling. Why leg pants for the longest time is something I've been avoiding because I'm five too. If you have shorter legs like me, why leg pants can totally look like a disaster. What makes why leg pants so challenging for someone who's short? It's the volume in the leg shape. If you're petite like me, our goal is always to elongate and to lengthen. And why leg pants does exactly the opposite. It expands us. It makes us look shorter and bigger. Make white leg pants look flattering on someone who's short. The key is to control that volume. White leg pants are not all the same. One thing very important, how it fits on your buttocks. This is something that I always pay a lot of attention to when I'm trying on white leg pants. The best, the easiest, are those pants that are fitted in your buttocks and it drapes down from your buttocks with white leg shape. So the volume of the pants is only in the leg shape. This is the most flattering type of white leg pants and the easiest to style, especially if you're short and especially if you have curves. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you should still see the shape of your buttocks and ideally the pants should be fitted and make your buttocks look rounded and perky. In the summer, a lot of white leg pants are not like that, especially the palazzo pants. They're not fitted in your hips and they're loose throughout the pants. It's much harder to style because it adds even more volume to your belly and to your buttocks. It can also easily age us. The pants can look totally shapeless. I understand. In the summer, especially when you're going on vacation, you might be craving those loosely fitted linen pants. Me too, I got one myself. The best way to make them flatter you is to wear a useful top because your pants can easily make you look older than you wear something on top to counterbalance that. I have discovered one of the easiest ways to do that is to wear an interesting neckline, such as a one shoulder. This one shoulder top I got from Express, I fell in love with it. If you've never tried one shoulder neckline, give it a chance you will be surprised. I have never worn any one shoulder top until this year. I'm gonna go back and get more. This area, the neck and the shoulders is a very feminine part of our body. One shoulder design can make you look hot without revealing your cleavage. Another great way to make this type of white leg pants look more youthful, wear it with a crop top. This is one of my favorite crop tops from ASOS a couple years ago. You have seen me wearing it in so many of my videos. When you wear a crop top with white leg pants, the top really minimizes the volume in the top of your body. And that is a perfect counterbalance for the volume in the leg shape with the white leg pants. That's why this two is a classic combination and it always works. Besides, when you wear a crop top, it really reduces the length of your torso. It's gonna send a signal to the eye that your torso is shorter and your legs are longer. Crop top works the best with high-waisted white leg pants. When you wear this combination, you are doubling the leg elongating effect. Okay, I get it. Short tops is not for everybody. A lot of you mentioned to me, gee, I can't wear anything cropped. I understand, if that is the case, tuck in your top. It has the same effect. Or, this is a regular length t-shirt, you can just tie a knot in the front. And that is gonna make your top look shorter. Anything you do to make your top look shorter can serve the same purpose. Immediately, you will notice it improves your proportion and magically make your legs look so much longer. This looks like I just got out of the bed and ready to walk the dog in the neighborhood. But this looks like I'm ready for a vacation in Europe. A lot.
lot of you mentioned that to me. Gee, I can't talk. I totally understand, especially if you are a woman with curves or if you have midsection concern. When you're doing a full tuck, that can draw a lot of attention to your midsection, which is what you want to avoid. In that case, consider a half tuck or a fringe tuck. Anything you can do to make the front of your shirt look a little shorter and shows eye where your waist starts. And that is gonna much more flattering when you are wearing wide leg pants. And how do you do that? Watch this video, four different ways to tuck your shirt. Go high waist. All my wide leg pants are high waisted. When the pants have so much volume going on in the leg shape, they can make our legs look shorter. I'm 5'2 and I have shorter legs to begin with. No, I never want that to happen. That's why it's so important to go with high waist. The eye is gonna assume your leg starts wherever the pants starts. When your pants have a higher waistline that's sitting higher than your natural waist, that's why the eye is gonna assume your legs are much longer than they actually are. And that can counterbalance the expanding effect of the wide leg shape. Besides, if you have a little midriff concern, apple body shape, some of the hourglass shape also carry a little weight in the tummy, high-waisted pants are not only most flattering, but also most comfortable because it can hold it all in and you don't have to worry about anything spilling over. If you happen to have a short waist, a short torso, then you do want to be a little cautious about the high waist. A lot of my high waisted pants are 10 inches high waist or even higher because I have longer rise and have longer torso. If you are the other way around, then you want to choose your version of the high waist. Maybe nine inch is high enough for you. You don't want your torso to look like it has disappeared. Wide leg pants is a wonderful option for the office. If you do it the right way, the white leg shape can make you look more authoritative. That's so important. A lot of times in the office, because of our height, we might be overlooked. Generally, people think someone taller walk in the room, they can command the room. But you can do so too, even if you are short, by wearing the right clothes to change that perception. The most important part is to wear the white leg pants that are structured. You don't want it to be stiff, you do want it to be drapery, but you don't want it to be too flimsy because that would look too casual. Very important, you want to make sure it's fitted at your hips. That will make it look much more polished and much more flattering to wear when you are at work. If you want to be more noticeable at workplace, wear white leg pants in accent colors like this one. The pants itself is a statement piece. So you can just throw on any basic tops in your closet and your outfit still looks very chic and you are still making a statement. But this is not the only way you can wear colored pants. You can also do a monochrome look like this. The top and the bottom are different colors. They're not matchy-matchy, but they are from the same color scheme. This is a more advanced way, so to speak, to do the monochrome look. This can also elongate your frame and it looks sophisticated. Extremely important at workplace. If you're petite, when you're wearing white leg pants, the length of your pants can really make it or break it. Because the pants have so much volume in the bottom and expands us horizontally, the best lens to counterbalance that is to go as long as you can handle and wear it with heels. Simply put, the longer your pants, the longer your legs will look. Ideally, you want the pants to be long enough to cover part of your heels because that will make your feet look like an extension of your legs. That's the best way to maximize the leg elongating effect of the wide leg pants. The cropped wide leg pants have been super on trend. That is one of the hardest style for petite women like us to pull off because the pants already got so much volume, they expand us. And because they're shorter, they form that horizontal line on your calves. 
and that's gonna make our legs look super cut off. But I do understand, in the summer, you want something shorter and you like a comfortable white leg. If you do like cropped white leg pants, you can go with the skin color pants. Because the color of the pants blend with the color of your skin, that's gonna make the cuddle effect look less obvious. Another great way to pull it off is to wear pointed toe shoes. Pointed toe shoes work the best with this type of pants because it can control the volume in the leg shape. At the same time, it can lengthen your legs. Even if you are wearing pointed toe flats, it can serve the same purpose. And that is gonna make the white leg cropped pants look much more flattering on someone who is petite. In fact, not only the white leg crop pants are difficult for us to pull off, but actually any crop pants are challenging for someone who is short. This may sound counterintuitive because we are petite, a lot of times we just automatically assume shorter pants should work better for us. But it's the opposite because our legs are only as long as the inseam. When we're wearing crop length pants, the eye is gonna assume our legs are shorter. But there are ways to make short crop length pants flattering for petite women. Watch this video. What are the secrets to make cropped pants look flattering if you have short legs like me?